I like about these. So we've got this one down two, that one down two, that one's fully up, but that one's down one. There's enough twist in them so they sit level. And sight them through. Put my board on now. I forgot to get my saw stand out of the van. I've got another one but it's behind there. Be right. This is uh, that's 570 and I want four pieces to go underneath. This is all I've got. I don't think I've got any more 3B2. This end has got a knot on. I'd normally cut that off so you don't want to be screwing or fixing into that but like I said this is only eight foot long so I ain't got any spare. So I'm gonna ignore that. Because I haven't got my stand, I could stack some wood up here, make it easier. But I'm just going to cut it in half, and that'll be easier than to cut down into smaller pieces. Otherwise. I'm trying to hold this long leg up. Just so happens I can cut a lot of this off.
Now, if you haven't already gathered, I'm making this out of what I've got. It's not wrong with all this wood. It's treated. It's only about maybe a year old. I'm totally skint, so I need this to pay for my MRT. I ain't got any colleted screws, but I've got these. Always good to have a box of them. I could nail it, but I'd want to screw this end anyway. This wood's quite dry, and I want it to pull it down a bit. Should leave a gap maybe for expansion but this is going to be inside the wood store there might be some moisture coming up but I don't want crap falling through and building up underneath might be a mistake I don't know we'll see what we anyway this is 1550 so I've just come in 500 from each end so I've just come in 500 from each end the middle one will be slightly out but not going to worry about that. So that's the base sides now. Like I say, this is a cheap deal for somebody that I know just to help me out. So if there's a problem with gaps, I'll fix it. Right, what I've got is two rails for the front and two for the back. I've got some uprights. I'm going to make a frame for the back. I'm going to screw it together. I'm going to make the back first and then I can decide how high I want this front one so I want a slope on the top so I'm going to put one up right in the middle so I put these two together mark them at the same time <laughs>
No, I just put one screw in. This is going to get boarded, so once it's all boarded, they're not going to go very far. I could nail them, but Sod's Law says one of the nails will come out, especially bits like that where there's a knot. It'll go anyway, stand that up at the back. I can work out the front now. Right, just a couple of temporary screws. See that, that'll do me. There's enough slope on that. I might give it a little bit more, but that's enough. Right, I've cut the three legs for here. I'm just working out the centre. I know what the centre is because I did that one. But the easiest way is, I know half of 1500 is 750. So 750. 760, 770 and then half of that's 5, so 775 will give me centre. Right, so I've marked a piece of wood at either end there. So I'll move that up, fix it there to those marks. Then I can work out that angle. Right, I'm making this in pieces so I can take it to bits, put it together on site. So what I've got is just one piece sat there. These two pieces clamped in place. And we've got a pencil line there, the pencil line there. That's going to be the top that's going to do that. So these are going to be sloped. I could have put this timber on the slope, but you can see it's not much. It's not much out. Same with the top there. So I'm not going to. So I've just left them square. Could put them on a slope, but I'm not going to. So anyway, I'll cut these two. Cut two more exactly the same. I've already got the bottom cut. And I can cut the piece that goes across. So I can set the saw up. Looking down the side of the guard here. Get it something like. And then I'll make one cut. But I'll make it back here. Slightly out, you see, so I'll just adjust it. I've got two of them to cut, so I'm just going to mark it on it. Be near enough for this timber. You see, it's all slightly different thickness. I'll take the pencil line off that. I've cut the pencil line off, otherwise it'll be the thickness of a pencil line longer. 
Вот так. Same with this one. See, there's the pencil line. You see the pencil line, so I need to cut along the pencil line. That's not fair, is it? Be careful when I screw in that. So that's what I've got. Set a piece of timber on there like that. Line it up underneath. Mark it, cut it. Alright. Got two of them cut, one for that end. Screw that together, one screw in each corner like I did the sides and the back of the front, should I say? Just tell me, I put an AA, a BB, so when I take it all to bits, I'll know which way to put it together. Right, so that's where I'm at. Time to get some boards on it now. The four inch, four by ones that I pulled out of the back. Like I said, this is a job for somebody I know. It's one of them jobs where, Gid, can you make me a wood store? I said, yeah, but I can't beat the prices online. Uh, yeah, but you'll build it better. So we made an agreement. I get to use up some of the wood and earn a bit of money back for what I've spent on it. And she gets a better than online wood store at half the price. All right, so there's 36 boards. Got some more in back. I'll just start cutting them. It's 15.50, so I'm just gonna cut 15 along. I don't think they'll expand, but I'll spread them out, make up that 50 mil. Right, so I've got 15 cut for the front, 15 for the back. Right, so I've taken it all to bits. There was only a few screws holding it together. I'm going to nail these on. I think the boards are quite dry, so they might split along the top, which means I'll have to screw them, but we'll see. I want these panels to be somewhat like square. So what I've done is screwed it, just with some little screws. I've screwed it to the board. So now the factory boards are pretty square. I want to be flush to the top. Right, I've just put one nail in at the top so that they pivot and get the gap straight. Just got a fucking phone call about my MOT, my van. It's failed miserably. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to afford to fix it. Shit. Anyway, get this nailed. One thing at a time. Uh, that went all right. One split. I'll try sticking another one next to it. I'll take the screws out, do the other one. All right, so that's the front and the back done. I'm going to do these, let them fly a little bit, and rip them off with saw. Might put it all together and then I'll draw a line through. But I'm just going to screw this one down like I've done the others. Normally I screw the short end first because it's easier to pull the pull the long end. You know, if I put that one down, then you're trying to yank a little piece. It's easier to pull that bit. A 
Where's the post? I uh, just gotta rip this down. Right, uh, forgot to set record. And that's what I've got. It's the wrong side. Bollocks. Don't matter, just make sure I do the other one the wrong way around. Put that there to remind me. I just temporarily put it together. I've cocked up bollocks. I meant to leave these to fly through. It's just another board, but they all need shuffling over. Another board put in there. Bugger. It's because my mind's been on that bloody MOT. That's what I'm blaming it on anyway. Anyway, that's it for today. I've had enough. I'll cut these tops tomorrow. I'll take all these boards off, shuffle them over, put another one on, make a top for it, and that's it.